when you go to start a business or you pitch your services as a freelancer, you need to understand that the person you're talking to thinks about money totally differently than you do, right? Like now that I have made some money, the way I look at money is totally different, you know? And I make decisions not on, oh, how much does it cost? I make decisions around, well, how much time is that going to save me, you know? Or uh, a really great one is, you know, when I was broke, I would look at like a $5,000 a month service as, oh, that's so expensive, you know? But then as soon as you have a business, and a business that's doing a million, two million, three million, four million, right? You start looking at the 5K a month as a negligible expense. Mm. And you don't realize that when you're starting out, yeah. right? Because when, you, when you're living in the rundown apartment, you're like, 5K a month is a lot. Who would spend that, right? And same thing with now restaurants. It's like, I noticed that my default, if I'm in a new city and I'm looking for a restaurant, what's the first thing that I do? I pull up Google and I sort by most expensive, right? Because there's a there's like a, a bias of, well, if it's more expensive, it's probably better, Right, So if you're pitching your services and you're pitching them at a discount, the person that you're trying to sell to is like, I don't want the Honda Accord, I want the Ferrari, right? So it's, it's all these very interesting ways of thinking about money that I, it takes a while to see it from the other side. Yeah. Yeah, I think one of the one of the ways that I often think is like these days is just in terms of... Uh, sort of very back of the envelope ROI calculations. Like I I, I booked a flight last night. Um, I'm going to Pakistan in the new year for a cousin's wedding. And the economy class flight was 200 pounds and the business class flight was 3000 pounds. But doing the business class flight would allow me to leave a kind of team annual planning thing an extra two hours later. And I was like, 100% valuable because me being there with a team of 13 people for, to give two hours more input on vision and direction of the business is worth way more than 2,800 pounds. Hell yes. That's a great example. And that's something I just would not would not be even able to fathom had I not had, were I not running a business because it's like, why the hell would anyone spend 3K on a flight where you could spend 200 quid for exactly the same thing? Totally. And it's like, you know, the value, the value of money just completely, completely changes. Yeah, where are you staying? Do you have access to internet or not? Does that allow you to work? Yeah. Yes or no, you know, can you make use of your time by meeting someone else there? There's so many other things that have to do with the decision than just the price tag. Mm. The price tag is often like the easiest part. That's yeah. not what people get caught up on. It's how much every every single ghost trading client that I had, it wasn't the price. They would ask me, how much time is this going to consume of mine? Yeah. So if I pay you three grand a month, four grand, five grand a month, do you need an hour of my time or do you need 20 hours of my time? That is the decision. It's not the amount of money. And again, that takes that's really hard to wrap your head around when you're especially when you're first starting out yeah. and you're trying to charge for things like you you can't understand that decision. Hey friends, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this clip, then click here for the full unedited episode. And if you like that, then do please consider subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.